Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is a brand new series. Uh, we're featuring Solitary Craft 5. And joining me today, I have Artenis215. Say hello. Hello, everybody. We have decided it might be fun to um, start up a challenge. I don't know if everybody's heard of it, but there is a, a thing called the Minecraft City Challenge. And uh, you're supposed to build a modern city with it, basically using industrial craft and, and a lot of the mods that are kind of mainstream that everybody's seen. We've decided we would like to put our own little spin on it. And uh, so we've modified the rules, which will be available as a link in the description, to use universal electricity and some of the other neat mods um, that are available in Solitary Craft. We don't have everything installed. We have about half or so. Um, but it should be pretty fun. So let me go ahead and just re go over the rules real quick for the city challenge and then we're going to get started. The first couple of um, parts to it are a little bit slow so we'll probably do some cuts and then after that we'll do uh, most everything on camera. So the city challenge is I challenge you to build a modern city. Throw away your old Minecraft habits and join the 21st century. General rules which are always in effect are environmental uh, considerations must be taken. Residents and farms need to be away from noisy or polluted areas like factories or nuclear power plants. Temporary living quarters may be located near industry, but it does not count as a permanent residence. Hey, hey, it's raining. Isn't that amazing? Uh, rule number two. All resource processing must be done in the correct building or is smelted in the foundry. Wood, cutting, or wood is cut into planks in a wood mill and items are assembled in the factory. You may use build craft pipes or other processing to transport materials. Rule number three, uh, use at least normal difficulty. We changed that. It was easy on the uh, original challenge. Uh, also, multiple players can cooperate, which we're going to do, and each of us needs our own primary residence. Uh, don't cheat. Neither one of us are OP on the server, so there won't be any kind of uh, tricks with that. And the last one that we added we thought would be interesting is no square buildings. So you won't see any boring uh, nine by nines or anything that you're used to seeing a thousand times over. <laughs> So, uh, the first stage, I'm going to go ahead and uh, if you want to take a look at that real quick. Yep, so uh, stage one, overview. You have been sent by your people to colonize a newly discovered land. Unfortunately, your ship was destroyed by an unknown animal. Only one of the crew member besides you survived, an old met school teacher who was injured and can do nothing but share his knowledge with you. Your first step is to seek temporary shelter and food. You must also build a lumber yard, lum wow, lumber yard to begin making equipment. So the restrictions on this stage are no tools, we can't use our crafting grids, and our only materials are dirt and logs. Our requirements are a lumber yard. We have to set 12 logs on the ground to show where we'll be processing lumber and spend at least one night in a dark cave or mud hut, cold and hungry. Right on. So uh, just to let you guys know too, we've done a couple of things on the server. We did turn off... Um, Creeper damage, basically. Uh, I do have not the best internet connection in the world, and so in case of lag and stuff like that, we really don't want anything expensive blowing up due to some sort of lag or server issue. And because neither one of us are going to be cheating in items, I don't want to have to try to replace things like that. So we did do that. Uh, the first stage here, we'll go ahead and just collect some wood and get set up for the night, and then we'll go ahead and cut because nobody wants to see us sitting in a dirt house forever. For like oh, you know what? Minutes. Neither one of us are OP. We can't break any of this wood. Because <laughs> we it's need to go somewhere. Protection. Yeah, the spawn protection is still on. I'll have to change that, but we need to go somewhere else. How would I explain why when I was collecting these flowers, they kept bouncing? <laughs> Let's see, is this far enough? Woohoo, it takes forever with your hand. Yeah. That's because we're spoiled and used to like chainsaws. Yeah. <sighs> Punching wood. It's the way every series starts, pretty much. Okay, so I have four. Oh, no, our last sheep is going to get owned by that wolf. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we didn't mention that. We had a, uh, a whole bunch of sheep around here, and uh, we don't anymore. But we do have a little wool, which will be real nice for when we're allowed to craft beds. Yeah, so I had my inventory open, so you guys probably noticed a um, little bit of wool. This, these, this one wolf has just been decimating our poor sheep population. We should uh, maybe try to tame them later when we get some bones. Yes, that would be, that would very be nice. really nice, especially early. Yeah. So 
where are you thinking we might want to have a lumber yard as far as city layout goes? Because I don't know. I was about to ask you that same thing. I think we can pro we can probably move it at some point too. But yeah, like maybe when we actually uh, build the mill. There's a nice big open area over here, and there's a whole, whole bunch of animals over here, which would be real nice. Um, wow, this is a huge area that doesn't require much landscaping. Yeah, the seat is pretty nice by the looks of it. Hmm. Um. I mean, I'm okay with right here if you want. This is kind this of works. Oh, why you know tip sideways? <laughs> so what do we need? We need twelve down, right? Yeah. I, I just that's that looks good to me. Yep. These first couple of things are are not the most uh, thrilling to do. I'm gonna collect some wood. I mean, some wood, some dirt. Uh, I'm not going to collect her. I'm just going to get a hole in the ground. Hey, that's a good idea. I'm going in your hidey hole. <laughs> <laughs> that works. You just can't go down too far because we can't uh, dig stone yet. Nope. Woo! Oh, that's too dark. Hey, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> so dark. Let's punch a hole right there. That way nothing can get in. Okay, guys. Well, uh, at least for me, I'm going to cut my recording for now. And um, we will be back once the nightfall has done and we have completed stage one. We'll see you in a bit. See you guys in a bit. Welcome to stage two, everyone. Oh, We're getting beat up. <laughs> we, uh, oh, exited, I'm dead. I am so dead. We exited seeing that it was uh, sort of daytime out here, and uh, yow! There's a second one! Yeah. And we're going to die. I'm at uh, half a heart <laughs> and no food. Why aren't we back in the hobbit hole? <laughs> I don't know. Get in. Oh, because they're in there now. Oh, well, let's get them fall in there, Doofus. <laughs> Man, this guy won't die. He's in steel armor. That's just not fair. He's OP. Oh, dumb dead. <laughs> oh, he's angry too. He's angry. Get a brain. I I hope I do, and I hope I get his sword so I can kill the other guy with it. Let's see if I can run over here. I am. How am I doing this? I'm lagging with half a heart. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. You're not lagging anymore. <laughs> oh, I forgot to set up death point. Where were we? <laughs> I'm stealing your experience. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. I'm dying first. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're stealing our experience. Oh, this is ridiculous. He hit me for like six and a half parts. He's in... What is that? No, that's that's not... What kind of armor is that? That's not steel. That's oh. um. That's oh. a mod, that's a mod armor. Oh, dang. This guy is not... We're going to end this series being slain and spawn trapped by this zombie. Need to figure out a way not to let the wool despawn, because uh, that would be really useful. For ah, guys. two shot at me. Yeah, I tell you, he's hits for like six hearts. Does he? And oh, still standing. So I don't know. I don't. I think my subs have heard this. I don't know if you did. Um, I ran into an angry zombie with an iron shovel and nothing else. I was in full nano suit armor, and he two shot at me with an iron shovel. Right on. Get behind him. Smack him. Uh, See he, if we... he's teleporting. <laughs> It's not teleporting. Run, boy. <laughs> he, he has hacks. Ah! He has hacks. So if you... Ah! <laughs> if you smack him, he should aggro to you. And then I'll smack him and he'll aggro to me. And we'll just keep bouncing him back and forth here. Oh, crap. He got too close. He's just like... He, he's, he's in love with me. He doesn't care about you hitting him. So maybe if I just keep running and you beat him to death. Yeah, he really doesn't care about you. He turned I around think, and... I think he you. aggro to you first. I, I will beat him to death with these corn kernels. <laughs> oh, man, he got close. I don't have to give him so much knockback. <laughs> what kind of armor is that, I wonder? Oh, not, the hidey hole is probably a bad place to go. What? Oh, no, he's uh, aggro to you. This is awesome. I can just stand safe. here and beat on him. Yes! <laughs> yes! We, we are victorious. <laughs> it's a platinum helmet he had. He has a platinum helmet? He was in platinum armor? I have a platinum helmet. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I wonder if we can deconstruct it with a red power furnace. I'm not going to use that right now. That feels a little cheaty. But we have one. Okay, guys. So we are done with stage one. All we had to do was have this little log thing here and spend a one horrible night in our little wood. Our wood. Our dirt hidey hole. And we did Which, that. Which uh, we slowly expanded because it was too crowded. <laughs> and we got we're like, you know, night takes a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not doing anything, it just, it's like the sun never, well, the moon never moves at all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, come on, and it's raining. It was, it was boring. Anyway, 
Stage two. We're going to go ahead and uh, read you guys the stage two stuff, and then we're going to start working on that. So the overview says, uh, let's see here. Uh, now that you can process logs, you are able to make simple tools. During the night, you had much time to think yet. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> All your survival training. Not very well against the armored zombies, apparently. No. Uh, where you were taught to craft simple stone tools and torches using fossil fuel. After selecting a colony location, you build the shelter, gather food, and a small schoolhouse for the old man to teach you. Not sure where the old man is. He's lost. Restrictions. You, you Wooden him. and he stone just... tools only. No ores can be processed, so we can't use furnaces or anything yet. I'm guessing we can build them, though. Requirements. A residence with a front door, a kitchen with a furnace. Okay, yep. A bedroom with a bed and an outhouse. That should be fun. A single classroom <laughs> schoolhouse with at least two bookshelves. That's going to be difficult. A simple mine for cobblestone and at least 20 cooked food items. Yeah, this was this was designed originally back when um, it didn't require cows to make books. <laughs> and did we increase the number of bookshelves? We, we did. We made it two instead of one. Because we, we, uh, that's the other thing. We did kind of double a lot of the requirements in here, and we added, of course, a whole bunch of our own just because we felt that since we're doing cooperative, we should probably make it a little harder. So do we want to pick this up or do we just leave it? Uh, I want to pick it up because I don't like the way it looks. I okay. think we should build like a designated – well, I don't even think we need this. We'll decide where the sawmill goes when we get to that. And um, I don't know for sure that we can't use a, a furnace – we can't process ores, but can we not uh, make charcoal? Is that and we processing do, an we ore? do have to cook um uh food. So yeah, we got to cook the food and smooth stone. I mean, I think we should and be I'm, able to. Do I would. That. I don't know that ore. I don't know that coal would be necessarily considered an ore in this instance. Yeah. So I. I mean, I think. Uh, I think we could definitely make charcoal in that. So where do we want to go? Like to actually get really started on this town. Um. I head over so, this way. You know what? I'll just follow you. Okay. I'll Maybe uh, I'm going to make a sword, <laughs> and I'm going to slay some piggies. Make a sword, kill some pigs. Leave a couple of them. Make sure we uh, can... No, we should probably collect um, wooden stone tools only. That means I can make a sickle. Indeed you can. I'm going to make a crafting table over here if you want to get in on this. I'm already in on it. I have a crafting table. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to always have one. I uh, almost put it on a stick, and then I realized no factorization. Yeah, we took factorization out. That's. I will miss the uh, crafting on a stick. I uh, just received my tea, which I'm quite happy about. <laughs> received your tea. Yes, it was brought into me. Ah, uh, yes. You have servants at your place. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom's just nice enough to make me tea. Yes. My wife probably isn't. Oh, come on now. Oh, uh, she would do it. I don't know if she'd bring it to me while I'm playing the game, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's already annoyed. I made her stop watching Netflix so that we wouldn't have any lag over Skype. Uh, okay, so I already found a cave. Um, 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 run away. You're not supposed to die in the first four seconds of the oak. <laughs> seconds? Oh, yeah, wow. They, like, stay aggroed to whoever they start. That's cool. I'll kill them from behind. You, you do that. Get his gunpowder, because it'll be right, useful in the future. Eat dirt! Oh! oh. <laughs> pickaxe! I have I have eight smooth stone. I don't need this pickaxe anymore as it yeah, is. Eat soon, man. This is like... Woohoo! No gunpowder. <laughs> Not a bit. Alright. Oh well. Alright. I'm going to make a stone sword. Eat some amazing rotten flesh. Do you want to uh, skip wooden pickaxe and go straight for stone? Yeah, if you got enough stone. There you go. It's over here. Sweet. Because I always hate dealing with stone tools. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay, you break the um, <laughs> break the crafting table I'm using. Apparently, it throws all my items on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let me get my sticks back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go find wherever I just was and quarry out a bit more cobblestone. So this is actually right. a really nifty spot because... Um, do you want to cut recording for a minute while we gather some resources? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll see you guys in a minute, guys. See you in a bit. And we're back. Yep. So we've got over here a cobble mine. It's kind of crappy, but... <laughs> it's, it's, it's a puny little thing that 
somehow managed its way into a natural cave. So yeah, kind of. So these the requirements: simple mine for cobblestone. Good to go on that. We also built both of our houses off camera. Yep. So we'll take you guys over there and uh, show you that. Do a little tour of both houses real quick. One of them uh, is finished and the other one's not. I'll let you <laughs> decide whose is whose. <laughs> yeah, for for sure. Uh, don't don't be uh, too well. <laughs> don't be too harsh in the comments. It's a resource intensive design. It does look pretty cool. It's going to look nice once you know it actually has a roof and other things <laughs> that make it function as a real house. You know, because you know zombies can just do what I just did. <laughs> pretty much. I have a window. Uh, a grand total of one. It's very nice. So take us on a tour. So this is, I'm thinking this will be the bedroom. Uh, these will be a, uh, just three wide entrances. And then in here's the kitchen, which meets the other requirement. And um, <laughs> then we have the John, of course. Uh, yes, the outhouse. The outhouse. Uh, there was actually a squid in here the one time when I was building it. So <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into your business. Enough said. Nice. Yeah, but sweet. That's the house. Very Should cool. Last for quite some time. All right, let's go check out yours. So we decided to all build. Uh, pretty and looks nice. It's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to build both houses away from the town a little bit, so that we can expand the town out and not mess up our residence. Yeah, so we can actually have some space to grow as well. Hopefully, we're not going to get uh, just completely raped while we're showing this off at night. Yeah. So here's the outhouse, made out of birch, and I did it in a little, uh, bit of a circular pattern almost. You can't really do a circle in Minecraft, but... It's an igloo. <laughs> I got a nice chair in here, with a light to do some reading. Yeah, uh, weren't you going to uh, put something else in there as well, if I remember right? Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> then I did the house, uh, I did an L-shaped pattern. I've got a, uh, a porch here, it's going to get some more work, and a little overhang for the rain. And that, uh, I've got some nice windows... Uh, this is just kind of an entranceway, and then this is the kitchen for now. i got two stoves and a refrigerator. Uh, left this open on purpose. Whoops, get your head out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> left this open on purpose for like a ventilation type thing, so that might be kind of cool. And then this is the bedroom. Kind of simple. Just uh, fits the needs, and it's not a uh, standard little square house. So. Yep, meets both our rules and the requirements for this. It's a very nice yeah. house, I must say. So we both have the, the min requirements on that, and then I also started a small, I got this nice pond here, so I started a small uh, garden, because we are going to need a bunch of stuff, so we've got this stuff going as well. Yeah, we decided that we uh, wanted to slay lots of cows. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of bookshelves coming in the next tier. We need something like four bookshelves per classroom, and there's either two or four classrooms that we have to, let's see, four classrooms with four bookshelves. So we need so 16. 16, which is... Ridiculous. We need, what, uh, 14 more after this schoolhouse? Yeah, 14 more. Each of them take three books. Each of those take at least one or two cows to die because they don't give you leather very often. We should um, try to orient the bookshelves in such a way that we can stick an enchantment table in the middle. Oh, that would be slick. All right, well, you want to uh, pause for a second and uh, get that? <laughs> See, here's why you should have... Here's why you should have windows. There's a creeper in your house. Is there really? <laughs> and two more standing right outside. Well, there's not enough sand around here. Unless I want to dig on the bottom of the river, and I don't. So I'll probably end up making a vanilla sand generator just because. What he doesn't know is there's a desert like right there that I got my sand from. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I honestly didn't know that, and that's a creeper. <laughs> It's not really a desert, but it's a fairly large piece of sand. You so anyway, what? guys, we're gonna I'm gonna cut my recording at least for just a minute, get through the That's night, fine. and then we're gonna go start working on the schoolhouse. We're gonna build that on camera, uh, and then we'll be done with uh, stage two. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. So we're uh, starting our little schoolhouse here. And, uh, yes. This has to be one classroom, right? Yeah, just one, just one little classroom. Luckily. Well, that'll be good. We should make some steps and um, make chairs out of them. Yes. Um, what do you want the bookshelves at? Uh, I got these the two corners. 
I got these Zycorium things that they might look cool on. It's like an orb of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> A shimmering green orb of knowledge. They're forced to learn. I'm going to go get some cobblestone because, well, we're obviously going to need more stone brick. Yeah, we're going to need more stone brick. Uh, you have any glass, actually? Because I might be able to get enough where we can just put glass on the roof. You know what? I do have glass. If you want to get that and maybe make a um, some wood steps. I believe I might have wood steps as well because I use them for my outhouse. And some signs. Uh, we can put up a couple of chairs with uh Does it matter what kind of wood steps? No, whatever kind of chairs you want. I don't care. Okay, because I only have spruce wood. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Might be able to go one more up. So, okay. A few sticks. And then some steps. How many chairs do we want? Four? Yeah, four is good. Okay. Just a single classroom. Yeah, we are like in the Stone Age right now, so. Yeah. There's technically on the island, right? There's only like two of us and then the old man. Yeah. Supposedly. What happened to the, did you pick up the bookshelf? Oh, I didn't know. It never got put down on the other one. Well, you noob. <laughs> I was like, where'd the bookshelf go? <laughs> My precious cows. Yeah, the precious cows vanished. So for uh, those who are subscribers of mine, uh, I got sulfur torches. And um, this is the first time I've ever gotten sulfur goo, ever. For those of you who don't know, it can be used for um, dye or bone meal. Which is very nice. Quite nice. I'm going to go uh, make some cows do the dirty thing. Yes, and I'm going to... Um, well, I have you know, glass, so we just want to put the roof as glass. I have like Yeah, roof is glass. There. Bring a door, too, while you're over there, because we need a door on the front. I'm going to go cut down a tree, then. <laughs> Luckily, spawn protection is no longer prohibiting us from doing anything. Yeah, it did turn that off, finally. Uh, so just glass where the roof is right now? Yeah, just uh, glass across the top, I think, would be good. All right. Glass across the top it is. Ooh. Score. Big ravine. Yeah, we have... Um, we lucked out with the seed, guys. We have a lot of natural caves. And you'll see why that's important relatively soon. Uh, I just got the uh, first bit of shards that we've been able to get well i'm pissed off <laughs> why my lag made me place two glass where i shouldn't have and now i'm one short you brought exactly the right amount no i i had two extra oh <laughs> and then my lag made me misplace both of them nice so now we're one short well chop chop get another one <laughs> <laughs> i've decided he's my personal slave anybody watching and who cares <laughs> <laughs> make glass boy <laughs> and Not really. ma mainly what's happened while we were gone is uh, I broke his bed he was sleeping in it and it was hilarious yeah, that was not cool there will be revenge you were AFK it's your own fault there will be revenge I fully expect there to be revenge I'm going to come on the surfer one day and you're just going to have pruned all of the chunks aside from you're, you're going to have chunk pruned my house. No, I'll just make sure your house is permanently radioactive. Because you're good with mine, Cam, and I'm not. <laughs> You'll just walk in and die and not know why. Just, oh, I feel really sick all of a sudden and drop. <laughs> it's okay. I'll move an aura node right into the middle of your house and piss it off. That'll be good, too. <laughs> One more piece of glass. Let's get this thing finished. Yes, and we have to go sleep again. Ah. Chairs. Dang it. All right. Run I back. have I have the chairs um, on me, and I'll make a door while I'm at my house. But seems like it becomes night every four and a half seconds. It's about yeah. I, what's with the new servers? Because like even on the the server that I'm doing my LP on, um, the tick rate is through the roof. Hmm. It it's completely insane. Because it's like I can go through a blaze rod in a couple of seconds. Wow. And you still get all the EU from it. It's just ridiculous. Uh, six of those. How do you get the ticks per second? You can't. We don't have the plugin. Oh, it's a plugin. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be slash TPSO. 
Nope. Um. Oh yeah, I have glass in my digger's backpack somewhere. Or sand, more of. Four coal. That's five. And uh, for whatever reason, annoyingly enough, shift clicking does not work right now. It's working except in the bottom of the furnace. It worked like into the top of the furnace for me. Yeah, it works in the top, but that's annoying. Ah, driving me up the wall. Um, so let me grab this piece of glass. Okay, I have my piece of glass, a door, and some stairs, and a sign. Well, eight signs. So Ready does, to head back? I'm already there. So does mob griefing make it so zombies don't bust down doors? I doubt it, but I don't know. Then again, we are only on medium, so or normal difficulty, so it won't. Alright, I'm going to start recording again. Well, you've been on camera the entire time, so. Oh, right on. <laughs> and we are back. Random garbage in the floor. <laughs> garbage. Too lazy to put the chairs down yourself? I didn't know where they should go. I don't either. I'm just picking some spots here. We should have uh, three goofballs sitting like this. Oh, no, we can't put them that close. That's That was my problem. Yeah, we can't put them that close. That's okay. We'll put them... Um, I was thinking maybe two in the back and then two in the front. Something like that. Uh huh? Yep, that's that works. That's proper classroom is set up anyway. Yep. We're going to have to uh, maybe eventually rename these signs and then have really ridiculous names. You should uh, you should go sit in that one right there. I don't that's your chair. I... Nope. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're in the same boat as I am with UE. Yes, well, we'll see who gets it faster. <laughs> there we go, guys. That's the classroom. We've got uh, two bookshelves, and the, that requirement is done. So Our very awesome. Little chairs, and uh, bam. So The houses are done. Be... The cobble is done. Do you have your food? I'm out of food again. See, this guy needs food. As soon as this doofus gets food, we'll be moving I'm on. I'm always to out of food. Piggies, you can die. Stop killing my pigs. I think you smacked me with your sword. <laughs> you ran in front of the pig. Just trying to protect it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just make some bread. But it's not grown at all. I just harvested it all. <laughs> no. While I was back here waiting on a couple things to happen, I harvested a bunch of it. So do we have 20 food items in general, or no? Are we not close? Uh, I don't think so. Not cooked. Nine, I mean, I don't have... 10, 11, 12 in your chest. And I got one on me, so that's 13. So you, so need, 13. So you I need to get at least seven. And bread wouldn't count because it's not cooked. It's, no, it's, it's only not. crafted. All right, well, um, let me see if I can't get some sulfur goo really fast. I might have some, and then I can get corn. I do have some corn here. I got three corn. Do we corn I can have cook. any bones? I mean, like, it's already midday. Do I know? Uh, do we want to, like, kill skeletons? I'm about to have three more pieces of food. Oh, nice. I'm going to go sulfur goo these freaking plants, and I can't even run. Freaking. <laughs> This is like the story of the server. He's constantly starving to death. I am always starving to death because I can't help myself. I sprint everywhere. Now, what kind of... That's ridiculous. I only got one seed from two plants. That's pretty awesome. That's... Okay, 9, 13, 14, 15. I got 16. You need four pieces of food. Can you manage that? I have two. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> four pieces of cooked food. Uh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I can't manage this. I have a bunch of food in my house that I just haven't cooked yet. Oh, well, then what are we playing around for? Cook I forgot it. about it until just now. <laughs> I want to start using iron tools, darn it. Okay, yeah, I can do this really easily. So, probably just with one piece of coal, I would imagine. I might have to babysit it a lot. 
and stupid Hannah Quincy's go away. Well, there's going to be a special episode dedicated to those unless they get some new use between now and then. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be whatever episode number entitled The Recycler. Oh, yeah. I think I'd rather use flax seeds for that, though. Oh, the flax seeds are definitely on the list of recycled materials as well. Because, one, you get a lot more, and two, they're... I don't know if you... Can you use Hennequin to make seed oil? No. There's not even a use for Hennequin seeds. Yeah. <laughs> At least with flax, you can use something else. They are completely useless. <laughs> okay, I have four cooked food items. All right. So that would be the end of stage two, people. And with that, I think we're going to wrap up episode one, right? Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and stop here. We uh, did a lot of cuts this episode just because it's really boring, the first two stages. But the next stage, we're going to start actually doing some machines, getting some uh, different buildings set up to process things. So it'll be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And um, see you later, guys. See ya.